All right, chemistry students, a little bit of help on the, uh, on the, on the graphing for worksheet number one, graphing worksheet number one. Um, some of you are having a lot of difficulty uh, coming up with the correct scale for these worksheets. Um, so we're going to just do number one, kind of give you at least set your scale up for you and show you how to do it, kind of remind you how to go about the process. So I already put the, the labels, the the title, um, time versus reaction, and then your horizontal label is your time in minutes, and your vertical label is your uh, temperature in degrees Celsius. What we have to do is figure out what our scale is going to be for this, and it needs to be consistent numbers or consistent um, intervals with your with your scale. So each one of these squares needs to represent the same quantity. So let's take a look at our time first of all. Our time, in order to find, figure out our, what we're going to use for our scale, we have to look at our lowest number and our highest number and subtract the two. So our highest number is 20, our lowest number is 5. We subtract those and we get 15. Now this is kind of a difficult one because there are only 14 squares across the horizontal and on the vertical as well. So if we divide 15 uh, minutes here by 14, we're going to get slightly more than one, um, and that's not going to fit our graph very well. So, so be it. Um, <clears throat> if we had 15 squares, we could make each square worth, worth one minute, but since we don't, I'm just going to go ahead and make each square worth two. So we've got the, on the bottom, we go two, and I'm going to just write every other one, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And again, it's not the greatest thing, but that's what, that's what our graph allows for. Um, on, the, on the vertical, we have our highest temperature is 62 and our lowest temperature is 19. So we subtract those two and we get 43. Now we have to fit 43 degrees evenly spaced on 14 on the 14 squares that we have on this vertical. So we go 43 divided by 14 and we get 43 divided by 14. I just did this. We get 3.07. 3.07 um, would be kind of a kind of strange thing. Three point anything would be kind of hard, but you need to have a number that each square represents that at, is at least as big as 3.07. Okay, so we could go four or we could go five. Let's just go five with it. Okay, now the lowest square here, this low, you don't always have to start with zero. The lowest square here needs to be at least lower than 19. So let's just start with this as 15. Okay. And I'm going to make every one of these squares worth five. Remember, it has to be at least 3.07. And we're going to just use five. Okay. So each square is worth five. So this would be 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and that's as high. That's as high as I have to go. My my highest temperature has to be at least 62. You see that right there. So we've gone lower than my lowest temperature and higher than my highest temperature, and we can just plot the points at five minutes. Now, this is a little bit strange because again, we have minutes that are listed as five, 10, 15, and 20. Okay, but. I used 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So 5 would be just slightly more than the, slightly past the 4. And the temperature right there is at 19. So this is 15 and, tw and 20 degrees is right here. So I'm going to plot that point right there. Not a very good looking point, but I, you got the idea. Okay, the next point we have at 10 minutes. This line right here is 10 minutes. And it's at 28 degrees. So I come straight up from 20 from 10 minutes and I go to 28. This point right here is is this is 20. This is 30, excuse me. So it's gonna be slightly below this line right here up at 10 minutes. 
and that looks like it's going to be right about there. So that's how you plot your points. And then you'll connect your, your graph. Okay, so the next graph that we have is a scatter plot graph, and the title is Time and Ice Cream Sales, or excuse me, Temperature and Ice, ice Cream Sales. What is, what, what is the relationship between the temperature, the outside temperature, and ice cream sales? That's your title. We have temperature in degrees Celsius on the bottom, and ice cream sales in dollars on the side. And again, for temperature on this side, our lowest temperature is 11, excuse me, is 11.9. Our highest temperature, that's our lowest, our highest temperature is 22.1. And we subtract those two and we get 10.2. So for our temperature, we need to go 10.2 degrees. Remember, we have 14 squares across the bottom. So that actually works pretty good. If I, if I divide 10.2 by 14, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get less than one. Looks like maybe about 0.75. So if I just use one, deg one degree for each one of these lines, it's gonna work out pretty well. So I'm just gonna write these in here. Uh, let's see, this would be one, two, three, four, five. Oops, excuse me, I'm doing this doing this incorrectly here. Um, we want to go with our lowest temperature, okay, which is 11.9, and our highest temperature 11, uh, 21 point, or 22.1. So I need to go at least less than 11.9. So let's just start out here at, um, at 10. Right there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and this would be 24, okay? How about for the ice cream sales? Our highest, ice, our highest dollar amount for ice cream sales is 522. Our lowest is 185. Subtract the two, and we get... 337, okay? Now remember, we have to have $337 divided evenly using the 14, using the 14 squares on the vertical axis. So we're gonna go 330, let's put it down here, sorry about this, 337 divided by 14, and we're gonna get, sorry about that, 337 divided by 14 gives us 24.07. 24.07. So we need to have at least 24.07. Actually works pretty good. Let's go with 25. Each line will represent 25. We have to have our number at least 24, a little bit bigger. And remember our lowest number here is 185. So if we're gonna go by if we're gonna go by 25 for each line. We have to go at least lower than 185, and we'll start out with 175. Okay, so the bottom line is 175, and then each one of these will, will represent um, 25. So let's go 175, 200, and then let's go 250, 275, 300, 325, 350, 375, 400, 425, 450, wow, 475, 500, and that works perfectly, doesn't it? Because our highest temperature is 522, so that's gonna be slightly above our last line that we did. Mark, make a few, uh, plot a few, couple points here. 18.5, okay, this is 15, 15 on the bottom here, 16, 17, 18.5 would be right here in the middle of these two lines, somewhere about there. And when the temperature is 18.5 degrees Celsius, the sales of 406 is gonna be slightly more than this one, than this line right here. We're gonna match those two points right about here, right about there, there there okay 
at 22.1 degrees. Here's 20, 21, 22. Right here's 22.1, right about there. And at, and that goes to 522. So here was our 500 right on the top here, almost right to the top line. Then we come straight up and make a mark right about there. So that's how you do this. That's how you plot these points. You guys just have a couple more plots uh, to uh, points to plot. You have a couple of questions to answer on the top here, and on numbers one and two, and then number four, answer those questions. Submit this after you've completed um, plotting all the points, and um, then you've got a worksheet number two that that is assigned for this week that you guys will also need to do in the same method here. Good luck on this. Remember to write emails, ask questions, get in those Google Meet office hours, and get help if you need it. Good luck on this.